we're gonna start off with some ball handling. We'll go in and out between the legs, okay? I want you to go here and through, in and out and through, okay? Shifting your weight, keeping your feet planted. See how my ankle is almost touching the ground and I'm leaning, keeping my chest up. I want you to do as many combos as you can in 30 seconds. So one, two, three, all right? All right, so on the Euro step, right? So you guys can do anything up here, uh, but the Euro step is really to avoid that help side defender that's pulling over to take a charge, right? So you wanna start at the free throw line here, between, on that first step in that first row, we'll go right hand, left step. I want you to push off this left and go down step and then around step and then finish, all right? So again, medium speed. Going here, tween, ball and foot hit, down, around, right, and then finish. All right, you don't wanna go here to where you attack and then you go out and then out because if that defender pulls over to take this charge, you're gonna run into him, all right? So you wanna go down and then around, all right? So full speed, down, around, right, and then finish the layup. So second finish, right, extension finish. You're gonna go here, right? Start around like the mid-range area, between, okay? You see that help side defender pull over and also take a charge as well, right? I see Westbrook do this a lot. You attack, ball and foot hit, okay? Let the ball hang, you're gonna go left, right, and then slide by, okay? You wanna slide by and finish with touch. And the, and the footwork is here, left, right, pick the ball up, and then stretch, I want you to jump to the front of the rim. All right, so here, tween, dribble, jump to the front of the rim, and then finish. Third finish of the series, okay, pound evasion. You go tween right here, okay, ball and foot hit. Now that defender's still riding your hip, so you wanna create extra contact and go ball and foot hit. You wanna step towards 10 o'clock, all right, to create that contact, and then either take two steps, or take one step and go up for a quick finish. All right, so you go in here again, whatever you do up here, boom, ball foot, bump, and then finish on that other side. All right, it's all about creating that contact, okay? All right, so we're gonna shoot two shots off the, off the catch ISO series. So first one's gonna be jab shoot. First, start on the free throw line. Flip the ball out to yourself. We're gonna go reverse pivot, okay? You're gonna go jab, and then shoot, main thing is to keep this left pivot foot down, all right? A lot of times I see kids drag this back foot, they get called for a travel. So keep your left, your dominant pivot foot down, all right? So you catch it, reverse pivot, jab, and then knock down that shot. When you jab, you wanna be able to jab to create that space so that if the defender's here and they drop their step or they pop back, then you have that room, right? And that space to knock down a jumper, all right? So full speed, again, or medium speed, we'll go here. And I want you to jab towards about one to two o'clock, stay on balance, and then shoot. Okay, so full speed, flip it out, reverse pivot, jab, create the space, knock it down, and that's jab, shoot. Second shot off the, off the catch ISO series, right? We're gonna go jab, cross into our pull up, all right? So same, same setup, you're gonna start on the free throw line, okay? Flip the ball out. Sit low, you kind of want to bounce on your step to stay athletic. And then once you get here, you want to be able to jab and show that ball by your knee so that you fake this rip through, okay? When they bite, you cross the ball down. So you put the ball on the floor first and then cross your right step over, right? And then you can do whatever after, right? I'm just going to do a pull up with this one. So we're going here, going here, flip it, okay? Reverse pivot, okay? Cross, put the ball down. Pull up, knock down the shot. Mid-range shot number one, we're gonna go pull back crossover. Okay, this is a space creator. Be able to get downhill and attack, but if that defender does cut you off and play good defense, you just snatch him back, stay on balance, land on two and knock down the shot, all right? So you could, you could freestyle it up here. You could freestyle it up here at, on the wing, slot area. Okay, I want you to attack hard like you're getting to the rim. Okay, and then it's gonna be left, right. I want you to plant this right leg, making sure you're in a split stance, staying on balance, and then cross the ball under your knee and kind of hop back to create that space. That's what uh, 
is how Jordan made that game winner against Utah, all right? So you're going here again, freestyle up here, attack hard, left, right, pull back, and then knock down the jumper. We'll go next shot, we'll go mid-range shot. We'll go behind the back, it's called a speed stop, okay? So now, same thing. Different ways to go speed stop. You may have this in your bag, you may not, it's time to work on it. So you attack hard. It's gonna be left, right. Now instead of crossing and over, you're gonna cross the ball behind your back, right? Behind the back is very protected, right? Because the defender's right in front of you. And you just hop in and shoot, okay? So let's work on that speed stop. So you go in here, attack hard, left, right, balance, right? And then knock it down, all right? And then the last one. Okay, this one's pretty complicated. I'm not too complicated, but you gotta really have strong legs for this, right? So when you get here and you attack it hard, let's say you get here, that defender's still with you. Now, you're gonna have to get to space, right? I see CP3 do this a lot. You wanna push off this left leg and cross your right step over laterally to create space and knock that shot down. Again, everything in our mid-range package is about creating space and getting to your spots. All right, so again, the details, attack hard, whatever you want to do up here, right? Dribble and step, left, right, okay? Ball and feet hit the same time on that behind, and then change directions laterally, pick the ball up on this first step. One, two, go up. All right, let's take a look. We're gonna go uh, pocket jump shot. Okay, so this is a, ball, a, wing, a wing ball screen situation here. Okay, let's say you set your man up. Boom, you got him on your hip. And you're off shoulder to shoulder. This defender gets caught. Now that big is in a drop, drop in position, right? So you have that pocket of room just to shoot a simple one dribble pull up. All right, again, shoulder to hip. Set your guy up. Explode downhill. Up, have a great imagination, that big drop in if you're by yourself, and then knock down the dribble pull up. All right, let's take a look. Okay, now, right, second second off of our screen series is gonna be a in and out, okay? So same situation. You set your guy up, whatever you want here, okay? Rub off shoulder to hip. Now, he's pressed up a couple of steps up now, right? Because you've hit that pocket jump shot. Now you gotta make a move. So you throw, you're in and out midline and step with your right, okay? And then get to space for your pull-up, all right? Your footwork on this is in and out right, left, hang the ball, and continue to run to your space and pick the ball up on that right, left step, all right? So let's take a look. All right, and then big key. Big key on this, right? Sell with your eyes. Big key, sell with your eyes. You get here. What I mean by that is get here, move your eye, your right foot, and your hand all in one motion on your in and out. That's gonna really create space for you to shift that defender. It's gonna shift that drop in big. Let's take a look. All right, and we'll go last one. Let's go uh, snake, snake, snake into space, okay? So now we got a step up ball screen situation, right? So butt to baseline. Your big is setting you a screen at this angle. So I want you to use the screen. Okay, now that big starting to drop again. He, he's, he's backpedaling. Defender's fighting over top. So you go dribble hold, making sure that you're dribbling that ball in front of your feet, not out here or else you're gonna get picked from behind. Right in front of your, right in front of your feet. Now, you wanna throw that ball, one dribble, and take four steps. So, one, two, three, four. On that third step, pick the ball up, right? Don't, don't carry the ball. They, uh, you won't be able to put the ball back on the floor, right? So get here, snake, hold it, hold it, hold it. Throw the ball, right, left, right, left. Knock down a shot, all right? So let's, let's see it full speed here.